Hey, peeps. Yes, it is true. I'm... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Believe your eyes. Believe what you see. Uh-huh. I'm in the potty. Mm-hmm. I am. Some of y'all like, I know this hooker here ain't in the bathroom. Uh-huh. I am. This is called the business center. Live from the business center. So yeah, pretty much that's what it is. The business center. But look, yeah, I do a live any damn way. It don't even make a difference. Look, hell messed up everything. What y'all doing on Facebook? Yeah. I'm in the I'm I'm in the bathroom. Just give me a minute. I'll be done in a few. <laughs> so freaking out of control, right? Way out of control. But look, I got a message for you. It's a new week, new thoughts, new things that have came to my mind. And I just thought that I would share them with you. You and you, all three of y'all. <laughs> That's so out of control. But look, you know how if you're if you're a mother, you know how it is when you're having a baby, and the doctor says push, 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 just a little harder, just a little harder, push, and you in so much daggone pain. Because it's not like, you know, we're putting out babies that weigh a pound. You know, half a pound. We're putting out babies that weigh six, seven, eight, nine. Some people have 10 pound babies. And they be telling you to push. But they tell you to push and their ass ain't, yeah. Their ass is like, don't have to deal with it. Right? Who calling me? They know I do a live at 6.30 every evening. <sighs> they be telling you to push. Um, and they don't realize. That crap hurt. And it's always a male. They don't get it. They just telling you to push. I, I wonder what it would be like if he had to push. If men had to have babies, it'd only be like eight people on the earth. That's right, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people on the earth. That's it. Just eight people. But they don't get it. And it's the same thing with your vision. You know, sometimes um, being a female entrepreneur, it's kind of one of those things where it's like giving birth. When you have this vision and it's just like extra, extra large, extra, extra read all about it big. Like so big that it scares yourself so that everybody else think that you're damn cray cray like crazy. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes your vision is so big that you're like, I know good and doggone well. How in the hell am I going to do this? That's how big your vision should be. Your vision should be so freaking big. That is like giving birth. Sometimes you just got to push. Just like when you're having that baby and it's about eight, nine, ten pounds. Push. It hurt. You be like, why in the hell did I get myself into this? Why in the world does this hurt? Hurt. I shouldn't have went to the party. I shouldn't have been with that dude. I'm just like, what the hell? Because when you're having a baby, like when you're pushing, you're kind of like, oh my God, I hate everybody, everybody in here, the person that did it to me, the baby on the inside, the doctors, the nurses, the hospital, everybody in this damn building. Yeah, everybody. You hate everybody. It's not until after you have birthed that you calm down. You're like, okay. 
I don't hate everybody. Everybody's cool. You know? You kind of like, all right, I do love y'all. But that crap hurt. <sighs> it's the same thing with your vision. When we, as a female entrepreneur, we know we think we can do everything, right? And I know y'all, I, I am in the bathroom. Just excuse me while I handle my business. Okay? That's all I'm trying to do is handle my business and talk to y'all at the same damn time. Alright? But look, all jokes aside, when you're a female entrepreneur, sometimes we just got to push. Our vision is so daggone large, people think that we crazy. Like crazy. But, you know, we think we can do everything. I don't know if there's a woman out here that feel like she can't do something. We think we can do everything. And the same thing goes with our vision. But every now and then, it's one of us that let the outside noise, you know, the people from the outside, tell us that you're crazy. That ain't going to work. Who the hell told you you could do that? Now, how you going to do that? You ain't got no money. How you going to do that? You got three kids. You're a single parent. You're in college and working a job. And you got this vision to be this. Or you got a vision to be that. And the vision is so doggone large. And sometimes we start listening to those people. We start listening to them and saying, well, they are the closest things to us, the closest people to us. Maybe they're right. Maybe I shouldn't be doing it. Maybe it won't work. It just might not freaking work. Maybe. Because somebody else says so. Look. Ladies, as female entrepreneurs, we cannot fall short on the vision, okay? We got to push. We got to get it out there. We got to say, bam, 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 bam. I'm going to get it done. I don't care what it looks like. No, I don't have no money. Yes, I got three kids. Yes, I'm in school. Yes, I'm working part-time. Yes, my car got a, a donut on it because I got a flat tire last week. Sometimes we get all those things going on, but we still got to push. You know, it's just like when you have a baby, right? When you have a baby, that little thing ain't come with no manual. It ain't come with a manual. As a matter of fact, <laughs> that thing came out and you was like, now what I do next? You don't know how to take care of a child. There's no course on it. There's no class. There's no look. This is the handbook. The doctor don't give it to you, okay? Same thing with your vision. You got to push that bad booger out like it came out your Hello Kitty and you make it work. When the kids come out, we don't say, oh, I wasn't really prepared. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do with this little thing. As a matter of fact, just I quit. You can't quit. We stick in there for 18 years and sometimes longer than that when them bad boogers don't leave home. Yeah. I'm in the bathroom. Mm, I'm just handling my business, though. This is the business center. I don't pay that no attention. But back to what I was saying. We don't quit. We don't say, well, damn, I don't know what to do with this kid, so I'm just going to give up. It didn't work. I thought I could handle a little Tay-Tay, but it don't work. We can't give it back. And some of us do it two or three times, four times, five times. And you're going to tell me you can give up on your vision because it's too much? It's too hard? When you don't have the money, don't you figure out how to feed your kid? Figure out how to feed your vision. So, bigger visions require bigger pushes. Okay? The bigger the vision, the bigger the push. The harder the push. The more you got to give it. The more you got to keep constantly feeding your brain. The more you got to keep learning. Keep educating yourself. Keep good people around you. Keep people that know stuff. That's, let me tell y'all the secret to me. I keep people around me that know stuff. If I don't know it, they do. I call them up. Hey, girl. So, about those Facebook ads. How did you do yours? Let me tell you something. The bigger the vision, the bigger you got to push. It's the same thing with your child. If you don't have the money, figure it out. You got to push a little harder. 
Who said it was going to be easy? Nobody. All right? Because guess what? If your vision is too small, come on. Ain't no use in you jumping in the game. What you here for? All jokes aside, what you here for? If your vision is small, why are you here? You are wasting space. Move out the way so somebody else can get in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, move out the way. All jokes aside, move. I know y'all think I'm crazy. <sighs> this is the business center. You got to push in here too. Push in the bathroom and push when you have a baby. And push your vision to make sure that it comes to fruition. All of it's a process. All of it, you know, we kind of like, I don't want to go through the pain. If you can get the process done, you can get it done. Okay, you can birth that vision. If you got little tiny, tiny visions, then guess what? Come on, get on out. Bye. Bye. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See ya. Why are you here? You are wasting space. Move over and let somebody else in. Move over. Because there's always somebody out there that wants to be great. There's always somebody out there that has this larger than life vision and they just want to push through barriers and you in the damn way with your small, tiny, weeny vision. Come on, ladies. We better than that. Who cares what people think? They're going to think you crazy anyway. People think I'm crazy because I'm sitting in the bathroom. I don't care. They're going to think you crazy. They're going to say, you can't do that. that what? How are you going to do that? You just was working at McDonald's. Now you're going to be a life coach. Somebody's going to call you out. Now, how you respond to them is going to make a difference. Yeah. Side eye. This is what you need to do. When they speak against your vision, do like this. Really, do. Give them the down look. Mm -hmm. And then tell them to kiss your ass. Mm -hmm. that's, that's me. That's what I would do. I don't care what people think. If I said I'm going to, you know, start a cow milking business, I, that's what I would be doing. I don't care what people think. Now, don't, now I'm not saying I'm not human and that I ain't be like, hmm. They got a point. Oh, but I only give that 60 seconds, honey. And I'm right back up out of that bad booger. Out. Do you hear me? I gave it 60 seconds. That's enough time to say, okay, maybe I need to revamp my plan. Maybe I'm not conveying it properly. So that kook over there don't understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and then I'm somewhere around the 55 second mark. I said, oh. Let me pull myself together. Because I didn't analyze who's talking and realize they don't know what the hell they talk about. They ain't doing nothing positive and they sitting over there doing nothing and telling me what I'm going to do. Do you, boo. Okay? Do you. You got to. Do you. Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. Just handling my business, though. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> and look, when your vision, your extra large vision comes to life, and it is larger than life, and everybody want to be your friend, and it's making money, and you live in La Vida Loca, when the haters come around that was doubting you initially, guess what? Send them bitches an invoice, okay? An invoice. Now they're going to call you petty, and I was here from the beginning, and all that. Send your haters an invoice. Don't forget now, okay? An invoice. Send your haters an invoice. Because them... Look. 
I gotta take a deep breath on that one. Send them an invoice. When your vision gets larger than life, send them haters an invoice. They're gonna call you petty for sending them that, but they're gonna want your advice. They're gonna want a VIP pass. They're gonna wanna hang on. They wanna say they know you. They wanna say all of that. Send them an invoice. Boop, hit send. Okay? These are the options, ladies. Rock out or stay home. Y'all know that's my hashtag, right? Rock out or stay home. Push. Just like the doctor tell you to push, and that's a nine pound baby coming out your Hello Kitty, it's the same thing with your vision. You can't quit on your child, even though we want to. Many days, baby, I had signed the document to quit. <laughs> Because parenting is not easy, especially single parents. It's not freaking easy. And neither is your vision. So get your vision, make it large, real freaking large, and push that bitch out. All right? Push it out. Make it go, uh, na 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 na. I say, uh, it's like some Master P, right? But look, all jokes aside, push it out. I'm going to finish handling my business in here. I just thought I'd um, tell you guys push. All right? Come on, ladies. Push. We have to keep pushing. No matter how big the vision is. No matter how crazy it is. No matter how people think that we have lost all of our damn marbles. Just remember, at the end, send the haters an invoice okay and yes i am in the bathroom handling my business don't worry about that part though keep your keep your mind on the message don't worry about all that mm -hmm. gotta get my toilet paper ready yeah as a matter of fact i should be taking the polish off my nails maybe i'll do that while i'm sitting here Y'all got it? Did you get it? I'm serious. All jokes aside. Let me tell y'all something. Don't play. Next time I see you, I want to know what your vision is. And it better be large. If it's too small, I'm going to tell you, get out the way and let somebody else in. Move. All right? So next time the doctor tells you to push, you think about that. Think back when you had to push that little, that little 7 to 10 pound baby out. Push. They had to come out that Hello Kitty and you made it. You did not die, you made it. Same thing with your vision. Push. You will make it. Don't give up. Don't quit. So what? You ain't got no money. So what? You got three kids already. So what? You a single parent. So what? You in school. So freaking what? Show up and push. All right? Rock out or stay home. It's your girl, Larry K. Rockstar 360. I don't know if I'm going to wipe my tail with this or take the polish off my nails. I'll figure that out when I get done. i see y'all. I see you tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel, 6.30 p.m. every day on Facebook Live. I, I see y'all. And yes, I'm in the bathroom. This is the business center. Mm-hmm. Can I see your comments? I see you. But don't worry about it. You probably going to go there in a minute too as soon as you finish watching this. But you keep the message that I'm trying to give you right here. I right, push. Rock out or stay home. It's your girl, Larry K. Rockstar 360. And I got to finish handling my business. Talk to y'all later.